Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today I'm in a place called Village Marina right here. My boat is getting ready right there. This is the Village Marina because I'm going to be heading to a sport island in the Indian River called SL8. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go into the edge of the park and you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. Let me get to it. Alrighty. Let me put you guys zoom in. That light over there is SL7. This one over here, that one, is SL8. That will be the one I'm gonna be visiting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the drone from here. You guys can see this area and fly the drone all the way to the island. It's very close by, it's not very far. Let me get to that. Alrighty, I'm going ahead and leaving the marina at the moment. All right, I'm on my way. Now, this little island is actually being taken care of by a friend of mine who follows me on Facebook and YouTube. He's got his own group and all that. He, uh, Chino Kaya, I guess his name. And he goes there a couple times a year and takes care of the island and cleans it up. I brought with me my trimmer, my, uh, my chainsaw. Since I'm out there, I'm going to clean up a little bit myself, you know, to help out. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and head out, to the, out of the marina and head to the island. Alrighty, so it looks like I made it. I'm gonna go ahead and dock in over there and uh, You know pack things up and uh, yeah Unpack my uh, whatchamacallit all my gear So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, I might have to paddle there. Yeah, I have to put the moto up and paddle in All right, so I'm ducked right there on the beach. Let's take a look at this place Oh, we got it's like a little seating arrangement there in front of a, a fire wing right there place looks decent thank you chino kayak for keeping this place really clean i see some trees i need some trimming but that's that's about it that's what i'm here for all right this place is a little flooded from the looks of it so i'm not gonna be using that area i'm gonna be using this spot yep this is the spot i'm gonna be using there's a table right here Someone made a fire there. Hey, somebody left a barbecue thing. Wonder if Chino left it. <laughs> I could have used it if I had, whatchamacallit, some charcoal and all that. Yeah. This place is decent. There's another grill in there. A bigger fire ring right here. Ooh. This is probably what I'll do my fire. I'll probably put my tent over here in this section. I'll put my boat around here. That way, uh, it's out of the water and out of people's view and all that. Yeah. So according to the uh, to the recorder, it took me seven minutes from the uh, marina to here. It would have taken me a lot less, but I couldn't catch playing. I only got the six horsepower and I had too much crap on the boat. <laughs> it wouldn't catch into playing, which is fine. You know, what I'll probably do is I have to have everything settled down, get all the shots that I want with the drone and all that. I'll probably just 
we're gonna fool around with the with the boat, check the other islands. Anyway, let me go and get my stuff out, show you my camping site and all that, and continue. Alrighty, so my campsite is ready. I was thinking about trimming some of this, these trees that are dead, but they provide some shade, so I'm not gonna cut them. I don't think it's necessary. So yeah, I'm just gonna do is pick up some of the trash that I found around, pick some of that, take it with me when I get back tomorrow, you know, to do my part. <laughs> Keep this place clean. I like this island, the SL8. It has a lot of shade, a lot of shade. There used to be a dock in here. Check it out. There used to be a dock. That's some of the boards that were put up there. Looks like during the storm or something like that, it got torn up. But there's, there has a nice chair over here. You can sit down. Look at the view, because I mean, this view is not bad at all. It's quite beautiful, actually. Let's sit over here. Yeah, man, this is not bad. Earlier, I saw a bunch of fishes running around, so the fishing around here looks to be good. That's also another thing. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take the drone, shoot it from here. You guys can see the island around. There's a bunch of little islands around. You guys get to see that too. I'm gonna see if I can point the camera towards it. Unfortunately, I can only shoot the drone up to like 200 feet because this is an, a, uh, an airspace, a, he uh, a heavy traffic of airplanes. Airplanes are usually four or five hundred feet in the air. I can only go up to two hundred, so I'm a little limited when it comes to that. But it'll still be fun. Let me get to that. That was some pretty good sweet shots I got from the drone. I got around the island. I sped it up, of course, because otherwise it'll be too long. And uh, I got a couple of cool pictures. I'm gonna be sharing that on Instagram. Most of them I'll be putting on the Facebook group. And uh, let's see, what else I'm gonna do? Oh yeah, the few, there's a few islands nearby. First I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump in the boat, go around the island to see if I find anything interesting. Maybe take a picture, show you guys. And check out the other islands that are around me after that. I'll come back and chill. That's what I came here for, to relax. But other than that, I, I am very pleased with the little island. It's uh, very nice and spacious, lots of shade, like I said earlier. So let me go ahead and uh, jump in the boat and get ready. All right, so right now I'm just going around the island, see what's up, see what it's about. There's a few other spots that I, you, can, you can use for camping, like there and all that, but it's too small. I'm gonna check that one that's over there. Let me see what's that about. I don't see the entrance of this one. I think this is SL9. I'm gonna check over there. This one has no entrance. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna keep checking to see if I find another one. All right. Found the other one. Here it is. But this one is really, really tiny. Really tiny. Cool. But I bet for one night nice stay, you know, for the adventure, that'll do. That'll. I want to check the other one that's on, on the, this is the, the one south side of the one I'm staying. I'm going to check the one north side, see how that one looks like. You guys see that crab trap? Something is pulling it. Look, look. Something is pulling it! <laughs> what the heck is it? 
it an octopus? What the heck is that pulling it? What in the world? <laughs> what in the world was that? I don't know what that was, but it's pulling it. <laughs> the things you get to find. Okay, so now I'm gonna be on my way to check out the uh, island north of me. All right. So this is the island in north of me, SL9. Look at that one. It's got a little cubby hole, but somebody's already there. Camping. That is really cool. Small little hole in there. That's so nice. <laughs> I like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and head back. I'm getting hungry, actually. It's almost five o'clock soon. Sun, the sun's gonna go down. I'll probably do a sunset shot, although it's gonna be towards the city for the most part, but uh, I think it'll look nice regardless. So let me go ahead and head back. Alrighty, so I brought my boat in. I'm gonna keep it on that section. I'm gonna be arranging the bonfire area. Earlier I finished cleaning up. I found a, found, a, found a bunch of paper and crap. Some bottles and cans, but not a whole lot. Overall, the place is more or less clean. And I just had a crazy idea before I start dinner. The Atlantic Ocean is that way. I'm gonna see if I can shoot the drone and reach the Atlantic. I'm not sure if I can pull it off, but I'm gonna give it a shot <laughs> because I want to. <laughs> Let me get my stuff ready. I can't believe that little drone pulled it off. The distance was like 7,000 feet from here over there, which is over a mile, mile and a quarter or so. That is incredible. I never lost a signal. I think it just went straight through. It used up most of the battery. I got another one, so I'm gonna save it for the sunset. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start preparing my dinner because I'm hungry. Then everything ready. It's a nice little breeze coming from here. So I think I'm gonna be sleeping all right tonight, especially when it goes down to like the uh, low 70s and all that at nighttime. Oh, it's gonna be nice. Anyway, let me go ahead and get everything prepared. My dinner, I'm gonna start selling the, um, setting up the, you know, the bonfire area and uh, yeah, let me get to that. I just realized that I'm cooking the hot dogs and I forgot the condiments. Ketchup, mustard, sauerkraut, I forgot it all. It's okay, it'll still kill the hunger though. <laughs> all right, so after dinner comes the sunset, all right. All right, so I just got the sunset. I got the fire started. I already have my dinner. Watching some Rick and Morty. I'm gonna wait for the nighttime to be fully dark so I can show you guys the area. And I forgot my solar lights. So the only light source I got today is mostly the fire. I mean, I got a flashlight, but yeah. Anyway, nighttime. Um, before nightfall, I noticed that uh, the sun going down, turning the sky red. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. I'm glad I caught that. All right, nightfall has arrived. It's dark. I can see the city lights from that side. And a little bit of that side, the hotels and whatnot near the beach. I forgot my solar lights, but I have a little lantern that I keep with me. It's back up, so sliding up the area for me. Let me see if you guys can see my face. I doubt it. Let's see. I wonder if you can see me. You have to cut the light from the from the show. Anyway, guys, I'll be seeing you in the morning. <laughs> Rick and Morty style. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> morning has arrived. And I gotta say, that is not a bad view. Wow. That looks amazing, on it? All right.
right. Well, I think that with that, I'm going to conclude the video. I mean, what a view. Beautiful place. Very calm waters, very relaxing. Not a whole lot going on. If you guys are looking for a place to relax, these little sport islands are it. They're easy to get to. Uh, not very difficult. You could probably pull this off with a canoe or a kayak or an inflatable boat like I did. Yeah. This little trip is doable. Very doable. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.